Jesus, Prophet, he, he, he had the ability to... Uh, How you doing, Aki? Have I seen you before? Let me see your face. Not yet. Oh. Prophet, <laughs> 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 he had the ability to raise the, death, the, the, the dead body by the will of Allah. So, so do you see the difference way, between every way, single I... atom of the universe and just raising one person? Or two? Or a few? Every single atom of the universe, meaning what? That by, like, by the will of Allah. No, no, if Allah gives you, it's no, no, like, it's do you like agree this. that if Allah gives you the ability to control every single atom in the universe, do, but, do, would you agree that no, no, is, that, look, is that possible? It's like Allah saying, got the ability to do look, that. It's like saying Allah delegates everything that. He so that's that's quite similar to a trinitarian argument. Oh. It's the same as actually it's the same as a trinitarian argument. How? Oh. What do you mean how? That, that's exactly what the Trinity, that's exactly what the Christians uh, say. They say that does Allah not have the ability? To make Jesus have the same knowledge as him, as the same power as him, and have the, uh, make another God basically like like him. Do you believe that the Aima have uh, the Ghaib, Alm al Ghaib? Okay, so what about the verse in the Quran that says, No, no, let's just talk about it. Well, it says that. Yeah, in Allah illa la dhiru wa ma ashiru li qawmi yu'minun Says that in the Quran Qul la amliku li nafsi naf'an wa la darran That I don't control any naf'a There's no benefit that comes to me And there's no dar which means evil that comes to me Yeah Walau kuntu a'lamu al-ghaib If I knew the ghaib The Prophet here is meant to be speaking Yeah Walau kuntu a'lamu al-ghaib Lastakthartu min al-khayri Yeah لو كنت أعلم الغيب لاستكثرت من الخير وما مسني السوء. If I knew the غيب, the two things would happen. I would have gotten all the good things and no bad thing would have touched me. إن أنا إلا نذير وبشير لقوم يؤمنون. I'm only a, a warner and a glad giving someone who gives glad tidings to to a people who believe. So if you're saying that that أئمة have the ability to know the غيب, doesn't this run counter to this verse? The brother asked me. Do, do, no, but I'm look. I'm look. I'm just asking you a question, like, because we have to understand here. If you're a Muslim, you believe in the Quran. Yes, I do. All right. So this is a verse in the Quran. So you have two choices. You have a choice. You take the Quran by itself. You have to take hadith as well. Okay, accepted. But I'm just saying to you, if the if if you have a hadith here, like you do in in Kitab al-Kafi, which says that the imma have the ability to control all the creation and they know the future. The ability, they they know what's going to happen in the future. There's a web that I mentioned. It doesn't say that in the web. The hadith doesn't say that. The, the chapter heading, yeah, doesn't the kafi chapter heading does not have that. As far as I know, most Shias believe that Imam has got the ability. Whatever ability they have got is by the will of Allah. Type. Even if they have it by the will of Allah, you have to understand something, yeah. Even if someone says, okay, by the will of Allah, Allah will make another god. Would you accept this? No, no, hold on. Well, what makes a god? What makes a god? A god is someone who's all-knowing, all-powerful, all-strong. The uh, the beginning, the old, the sifat of Allah subhanahu wa taala is what makes a god. So if I were to put to you that if by the will of Allah can there be another god? It's like saying can God create a stone that that no one can lift it? It's not the same. I'm just saying that here. Can God make another god? Yes or no? Yes or no? It's like mathematics. Would one would one minus one be equal to one? It would never be equal to one. Uh, it's not the same. I'm not saying minus, I'm it's saying like, plus. It's like, it's like I'm saying just saying is one can't. plus what can Allah make another God? Yes or no? Can Allah make another God? It's, it's impossible. It's why? Which, it can't be. It's against why? Nature. It's impossible. What, do you know why the answer is? You know what the answer is to that question? There, there is an answer. I've heard a hadith like from, from one of the Prophet. What's your name, Akhi? Yusuf. Yusuf, listen to me, yeah? There's listen. a hadith on that, there's someone who, who came L to Listen to me carefully. Why? The same shubha, I guess. It's not a shubha, Akhi, it's logic. We use it with Christians no, 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 and no. I hope you listen to it. What I'm saying to you is this. If I'm saying to you, can God make another God? It's going to go on YouTube. Akhi, forget channel. about Akhi. No, listen. It's going to go on your channel, isn't it? It's called Muhammad Hijab. Is that, is it's that my, you know me, man. No, I, yeah, I've seen <laughs> some of you. Listen, don't, it's, it's not... It's, look, I'm not here to debate you, yeah? I, wallahi, I don't feel this is like a debating experience. I don't agree, yeah. Just, yeah, he's just here. Uh, listen, Akhi, I'm just saying to you, look, generally speaking, if you want to be a Shia, you have to justify your belief. Just like if you want to be a Christian, you have to justify that. Yeah? If you, if you believe that there's a... Are you a Shia as well? 
Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm being a bit confrontational. I don't mean to be confrontational. Can listen. God make something exist and non-exist at the same time? It's not, listen, I'm, I'm not going to that. Are you Shia? No. Okay. No. okay. No. So, so, I'm saying God can't do that. Yeah, no, no, no. The reason why Allah, Allah is ala kulli qadir. However, the things which, listen to, listen to this carefully, the things which run counter to his fundamental attributes, Allah would not do. For example, to answer the question of would Allah make another God, the reason why is because in his nature he wouldn't, yeah, it, it, it contributes his attribute of being yeah. al-wahid al-ahad, yeah? Yeah, yeah. In, uh, which means one and one and only. saying would Allah have a son, can Allah make, that, 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 it contradicts with his attributes and the Taib. person had in one God. And Allah says that in the Quran, Taib, yeah. perfect. Now the same logic can be applied to this very argument. So if I say to you, look, can Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala create a human being with all knowledge? Yes? Can can Allah Yes. Can Allah can Allah create a human being? Can Allah make a human being with all knowledge? So okay, would that not contradict the fact that he is the only Alim al Ghaib? But he is meant to be the only one who knows this stuff. No no it wouldn't, it wouldn't. Because there there's a verse in the Quran in where Prophet Sulaiman alayhi salam when, yes. he, when, when he brought the Arsh of Bilqis, he asked one of the jinn. I, I can't remember the verse, but it says, وَقَالَ الَّذِي عِنْدَهُ عِلْمٌ مِنَ الْكِتَابِ عِلْمٌ مِنَ الْكِتَابِ أَنَا آتِيكَ بِهِ مِنْ 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 عِلْمٌ مِنَ الْكِتَابِ أَنَا آتِيكَ بِهِ قَبْلَ أَنْ يَرْتَدَّ لَكَ I don't know the verse. Okay, oh, fine, so fine, fine. This guy was a human being, so he had the ability to bring the whole throne off. Yeah, but he didn't know all the knowledge. He, didn't, he had a bit. So Allah gave Okay, yeah, we all have a bit of knowledge. You have so a bit, yeah. and you have a bit, I have a bit. He had, a, he had the ability to bring the throne Okay, let me ask you. Country, so do you believe, okay, I get, uh, I, I get that point, yeah. So, yeah so Very nice. So Allah, does Imam Allah Hussain, gave him the ability to do does Imam Hussain, so would, 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 does Imam Hussain, Hussain have the knowledge of everything? Or yes or no? Of everything. Does he have ghaib knowledge or not? Be honest about your belief, yeah. What Allah, what Allah told him, yeah. I'm going to give the example of the soul. Allah says in the Quran, yeah, we'll, come, we'll, we'll, we'll come to it, but does he have knowledge, all knowledge or not? What do you mean all knowledge? Does all knowledge, you actually so don't know, do all knowledge means, is, is he omniscient? So, so like, it, it like he inherited some of the ghayb from the Prophet, some, some, uh, some of, of the, it, I've inherited, Akhi, we all have inherited some of the great, uh, what you're saying fits all of our categories, I have inherited some of the ghayb from the prophets, me. Yeah. You? Yeah, I have. I have. We, okay, khalas. So what makes us different? So right now you've just made us all the same. Me and the Imam are, is the same now. Because actually he's inherited the ghaib from the Prophets. I have inherited the ghaib from the Prophets. Does he have the ghaib? Yes, the, the proper ghaib. The, like the all ghaib. Al ghaib, not ghaib. Ghaibin. I'm talking about ghaib. Al, al, al That's what it says in the kafi. That the Imam knows when he's going to die. It says that in the, in the chapter heading. Does the Imam know if his companion is going to die after three days or after two days? Yes, yeah. things like that. Does he have that knowledge? I haven't, I haven't read that. Taib, it says it. Taib, it's a big book. Okay, so yes, I, I would, okay yes, fine. I'm just saying to you that one of the main different de points of demarcation between Sunnis and Shi'is is this. Okay, so you've just said that it's not logically pro uh, problematic for us to believe that he knows the ghaib. Yeah. It's not, yeah? It's not. Like and, uh, uh, okay, but fine. Type and no problem and, and all that stuff. Many people, th th this guy was not a prophet and he had a bit Okay, of so, a so do you maintain that belief? Let's be honest here. Let's, do you maintain the belief? Uh, you don't have to lie. Yeah, I'm not saying that you're lying. Or Just be straightforward. Do you believe that Imam Hussein has El, Elif Lam Ghaib? Elif Lam, you're an Arab speaker, yeah? Yeah, yeah where are you from? Bahrain. Bahrain, so you're an Arab, okay? So I know I'm not speaking to someone who's not... Elif Lam, El, El, I'm talking about all of it, the Ghaib. Does he have it or does he not have it? Yes or no? I don't know, I have read the Hadith. I don't know, but he has got, he's, he's infallible. That's why I believe him. Taib, you believe he's infallible? He's got the whole Ghaib. I don't know, I haven't read it. I have to. Why do you believe he's infallible? Why do you believe that? What do I think that he's infallible? Give me any evidence. I'm, do you know what? Let me make a challenge today. Wallahi. I'm feeling, I, I, today, today, you said he's infallible, yeah? That's what, that's what I believe in, yeah. You believe he's infallible? Just like a prophet, yeah. Okay. Is he infallible? Yes, I do. So he can't do sin? Yes, yes, he can't Okay, do give, me one, give me one verse in the Quran which says that. Or one hadith from your books. One hadith from your books. From, uh, from my Not my books, your books. In the Maya reading. Let's go to, let's go to the verse. Fun. You have discussed this, this, this topic too many times. Fun. In the Maya read Allah, in the Maya read Allah, read Hiba Ankumur Riksa Ahla al Baiti, or Yahira Kum Tatira. Now we have different 
we have different types of who are, who are in beta. You have different, you include the wives, the prophet, but we don't. Okay. We only include five So what does that mean? Can you translate the verse and tell me what it means? Well, I can't, I can't. I haven't read the whole tafsir. There's a tafsir. No, no, you tell me. You said that. Type, you yeah. said that that verse from in the. That, but you've just said from that, that. From that verse, she adored the, the concept of infallibility. Uh, I, I get what you say. I get that. I haven't read it. I'm not, I'm not a scholar. That's what I'm saying. No I'm, problem. I'm, no one here is a scholar, my friend. Yeah. I'm not a scholar either. But I can tell you something. You have knowledge. You have more knowledge than. No, you have no listen to me. Knowledge. Let's go through the Quran. Now, you, you, the Rijs here is impurity, yeah? Rijs yeah. in Arabic language means yeah. impurity. Rijs can come from sins. But no, no, no. But Rijs does not. Rijs does not mean sin. It can't come from sin. You're an Arab speaker. Yeah. I'm going to do something with you right now. If you give me but three... Shaitan, type, if you allow me, I'm going to do something with you right now. Everyone's going to watch this, yeah? Everyone here is... No, no, don't go. Don't go. No, no, uh, no, listen. Give me three minutes. This is important, Akhi. I want you... For the sake of the camera, Even if I am doing it for the sake of the camera, there's no aib in that, I believe, yeah? Because people need to be educated. Listen to me carefully. Listen to me carefully. Rijis is mentioned with a scene nine times in the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in chapter 5 verse, uh, verse 90, In uh, that intoxicants and gambling, all these things is rijis. Okay, Allah mentions in chapter 6 verse 125, Surah Al-An'am. Allah Allah says in Surah Al-An'am, chapter 6, verse 145, he says, uh, That's what he says. Allah mentions in chapter number seven, verse number seventy-one, Surah Al-Araf. He says, "Don't don't go now because it's going to look bad." Okay. Now it says, "Qala qad waqa alaykum rijsum min Rabbikum wa ghadab." Atujadilunani fi asma'in samaytum wa antum wa abaakum ma nazar Allah biya min Sultan. Fantaziru inni maakum min al-muntazirin. So here we've got four out of nine. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says in chapter five, uh, sorry, in chapter number nine. Verse number 91 and other verses in Surah Al-Tawbah, he says فَزَادَتْهُمْ رِجِسْ إِلَى رِجِسِهِمْ Yes, this a rijis here is adab. He gave them he gave them punishment on top of their punishment. Rijis and all of these, what I'm saying to you right now, if you look at the word rijis in every mountain of the Quran, it can either mean al khubthu al khubthu means impurity and that can be ma'nawi which means figurative or it could mean hissi which means physical rijis in nowhere in the quran or rijis with a zay by the way al, -az al azhari who died in 288 he said rijis and rijis are the same yes and he also by the way i'm going to come to this in a second he says rijis with a scene and rijis with a, with a zay and if you want me to do this term with zay i can do that right Anyways, everywhere in the Quran where rijis is mentioned or where rijis is mentioned, it either means impurity or or what or adab. It can also mean in the case of rijis or rujis rujis bidamra, it could mean like shirk, like where rujis are fahjur. And that is, by the way, that ayah in chapter number seventy-four, verse five of the Quran, Surah Al-Mudathir. It can be read two ways according to the Ahl Sunnah, Rijis and Rujis, because the majority of Quran read that Rijis. Anyways, if you if you think that this verse is a Dalil, chapter 33, verse 33, is a Dalil. No, I'm saying to you, if you look at the whole Quran, no problem. I'm giving you all the verses now, you don't have to go home. Look, I don't want you to go home. I want you to stay here and listen carefully. Don't go anywhere. Listen to, no, well, I. Don't go, it's not going to look good. For the, for the sake of the Shia, you have to stay here now. You have to. I don't represent the Shia. 
No, no, you're a Shiite, but you, you're an archetype. Listen, listen, you're an archetype of Shiite. You're coming to me. I don't have, the, I don't have enough knowledge. Achie, I'm, I'm not being funny. I'm not being funny. I don't have enough knowledge to be. He didn't come to you. You were here. No, Achie. He came to me. No, but yeah, but you were here. You were speaking to me. I was just. Achie, please, please. It's not. I was having a friendly chat with someone, and no. he just came along to trying to trying to refute my belief. I, I said to you, I don't have enough knowledge. I'm not trying to refute belief, Achie. You're an Arab guy. Last week there was about 30 of the, I don't know, looking for the. You, didn't they come down? Tayyip, so you've come this week. No, no problem. I'm just saying that if you have a belief, you should be able to justify it. If you're a Christian or a Muslim or a Jew, you have to be able to justify that belief. Do you get what I'm saying? I have my reason, but I can't record it right now. That's what I'm saying. I have to, I have to read my hadith. Tayyip, let me show you the hadith. Let's go to the hadith now. I'll tell you the hadith. No problem. Let's go to your hadith. Because of course, you, to do tafsir of the Quran, you have to do tafsir of Quran with the Quran. And then you have to do tafsir of the Quran with Sunnah. So let me tell you what Jafar al Sadiq said about Rijs. I don't, I don't know if this hadith is. I'm going to tell you that Al Majlisi and Al Khui authenticated the hadith. I have to look into it. Taib, you can take my word for it now, and if I'm wrong, you can. Taib, listen, please. Akhi, stop playing around. Like, Akhi, listen to me, yeah? If you want, this is got fine. Let, let it be an educational experience. I'm not saying I'm debating you, Akhi. But not everything you can go run away and listen carefully, Akhi. This is your books, not my books, yeah? In your books, El, what did what did Jafar al Sadiq say that religious men? Jafar al Sadiq said that religious meant, listen carefully, he said that religious meant a shak. فإنه شك. He said فإنه شك. Certainly a shak. Shak means doubt. Now Al Azhari, by the way, interesting. He said that uh, it can also mean that. So here you have three possible meanings of the word religious. It could mean impurity, it could mean doubt, and it could mean, we said before, uh, what was the other thing we said? Adab, punishment. If you look at the Quran, those three usages of the word are there. However, you will not be able to find in the Quran, or in your sunnah, not my sunnah, and in fact, any book of yours, any book of hadith that you have, you will not be able to find that the word religious means sin. Therefore, when you quote chapter 33, verse 33, it says, وَقَرْنَا فِي بِيُوتِ كُنَّا وَلَا تَبَرَّجْنَا تَبَرَّجْنَا جَهْلِيَةِ الْأُولَى وَأَقِنَّا الصَّلَاةَ وَأَتِينَا الزَّكَاةَ وَأَتِعَنَ اللَّهُ وَرَسُولَهُ إِنَّمَا يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ لِيُذْهِبَ عَنْكُمُ الرِّجَسَ أَهْلَ الْبَيْتُ وَطَهِرُكُمْ تَطْهِيرًا You can't say that that verse means what? It means that Allah wanted to get away the sin from the Ahlul Bayt. Why? Because actually, according to the Arabic language, according to the Quran, according to my hadith, according to your hadith, according to anyone who knows anything about Arabic, that word sin is not in the verse therefore my question is this you're saying that the a'imma the 12 a'imma are ma'asumun they, they have asma my question is where did you get this belief from from your texts like when i ask a christian you believe in the trinity yet in the old testament there is no trinity why do you believe in something that you've been told by the church for, by the church leaders that is not in your book so i'm asking you now what is the evidence that the, the Ahlul Bayt are not, they don't have any sin at all. No minor sins, no khata, no nisyan. Time, can you give me one verse? I tell you there is no verse. A verse about Imam Ali. Time, give me the verse. There is no verse about Imam Ali in the Quran. Time, look who you come in head. Head means guide in Arabic language. Head in, head in. I can't remember the means uh, for every people there is a guide. Taib, what's that got to do? So he is the guide for every person. Had is the nekira, nekira, not bil ma'rifah. In our interpretation, and I, there are some Sunni Muslims which claim that when someone asked the Prophet, he said it's Imam Ali. Taib, okay, that's very ridiculous to me. Because Likulli Khomin Had literally means for every people there is a someone who leads them. That's what it means in Arabic language. Had means guide. Now, the word had comes in nekira form. Hadin. Hadin means actually it's nakira, it's not ma'rifah. Ma'rifah is, is, is ta'in shakhs. Nakira is... You, 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 you say it's nakira, but we don't believe it's nakira because it's black Akhi, it's nakira in Arabic language. It's got two tenweens on it. Nakira is when you have tenween on the, on the ism. Akhi, it's Arabic language, you can't say... Unknown, as like unknown, that's what you're saying. Nakira is... Uh, of course it's nakira. It's Arabic, it's nakira. Ma'rifah is only with alif and lam. Okay, or you can have, you know what I'm saying, harf uh, nida uh, or something, which makes it ma'rifah. But, but the, you haven't got anything or the awamil that you're putting to it to make it ma'rifah. It's not ma'rifah, it's, it's nakira. No, I'm, I'm saying it's a, a ma'rifah, that's what I'm saying. 
but it's Nakira Arabic language. In Arabic language, whenever you have a Akhi Habibi, whenever you have a te, uh, you have two ten wins on something, which is an ism, it's Nakira. Do you understand this Arabic principle? There, there is a, yeah, there, don't go anywhere. Uh, let me tell you what Ibn Ma'ad. Do you know what? No, 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 don't go anywhere. Well, I've, I've got an appointment. I have, to, I have to see someone. But are you with me here? Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? What I'm saying is, it, Akhi, the evidence is you've brought. I understand your claims and I can refute them, but it's not. It's not you enough. can't refute them. If, if I discuss it, it'll be like three hours, four, four Just hours, give me one minute. Just give me, tell me one verse in the Quran whereby, okay, whereby, where you can stumble that basically this extrapolate that the Imma, the Ahlul Bayt, cannot do sin. Or give me one hadith from your books. One, please, just one. I'll give you time. If you need to go on your phone, I will let you do that. I haven't, I haven't read my hadith, that's what I'm saying. I haven't read all the So, okay, why do you believe in something you don't have evidence for? No, I've read it before, but I can't recall. I, I can't remember. I don't, I don't memorize all the hadiths. I can't, I can't just memorize it. I've read it before. I've read it before. I've read the hadith and the explanation and all the tafsir, which, which claims that uh, the, 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 the 12 imams are infallible. But I, I can't, I, I don't have it on me right now. I don't have the resources right now. That's what I'm saying. Taib. So, do you now reject the hadith, or do you reject the belief that uh, the imams are, uh, are ma'asum? I don't reject it. Why do you believe in it then? I've read, the, I've read some books. So, do you believe it only, do you only, Taib, Habibi, how can you believe in something which you have no evidence for? There is an evidence, I just told you, I've read it. I've read What's it. the evidence? Can you tell me what it is? So I can I believe it. I can't recall it, that's the thing. I don't, I, I didn't, I don't so where is it? Like, where can we find it? There, there is a... Uh, there's a book called uh, Kitab al um, Aqad al Imamiyah. It's written by. Uh, okay. By Mudaffa, Sheikh Mudaffa. You can read that. The, okay, no problem. Thank you for the reference. By the way, I'm, okay, can you come here for a second? I just want to say something. Well, like, I apologize if I'm coming across strong. But the thing is, Akhi, you have to understand. There's a context behind this. Last week, there were some people that were looking for us, and uh, 30 people or something <laughs> came down. And Akhi, it's, it's, it's as if when the Shia, I'm not, I'm not putting the finger at you, but it's as if now. Now, all I, it's, uh, we come, by the way, can I tell you something? When we come to Speaker's Corner, frankly, we don't even look for Shia. We don't even look for them. Whenever the Shia comes to Speaker's Corner, it's, I'm not saying all of them, right? But just recently, it seems as that they're coming to look specifically for us. Do you get it? And, and want to make a Sunni Shia discussion. I haven't got a problem with that. But I'm saying that if you want to put yourself in the lines, then you know it's, you knew who I was because you watched some of my videos online, yeah? So you know that this is the lines, then, you know that this is a place where there's going to be a debate. So if you want to come to the... I came here to watch, that's the thing. No, okay, khalas, but I'm, I'm being funny, but like, we were having a debate with someone about Imam Ali, a very strong one. Okay, you were like Wallahi, it was a debate. <laughs> and when, when, when the evidence has started being put forward, now I don't know when this and that, I'm not qualified and whatever. You're an Arab speaker, you know the verses, you've memorized some of them. It's simply the case that it's not just because you're, you are what you are. There is no evidence. It's simply that there is no evidence. I'm telling you, no, 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 I'm not subjective. I've given you istiqra' term of the word rijs. If you want me to do the same thing with rijs, I can do it. Starting with chapter 2, verse 59 of the, of the Quran, uh, Surah Al Baqarah. I can do that. I don't want to waste your time. I'm saying I can't refute you right now. I can't. I can't bring my, my own opinion, my, 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 my school of belief opinion. But, Akhi, I'm just, I'm just saying, do you believe, if you believe the Quran is the word of Allah, okay? I'm sorry to, if I came across strong, Akhi, but. If you believe the Quran is the word of Allah, no, no. If you believe it, Akhi, then we have to be confined to what it's telling us to do. Like it's, it's telling us that we've got to believe that Allah is the only one who has all knowledge. That human beings, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says about uh, Prophet Muhammad, "Qul ma kuntu bid'ah min al-Rusul wa ma kuntu adri ma yufalu bi wa la bikum." In chapter forty, uh, what is this? What is this? Surah Al-Fatihah or Surah Al-Muhammad or something? Forty-seven, verse uh, eight or something. So, Something like that. Yeah, I only follow what is revealed to me. If a Shi'i or a Sunni or anybody comes to me and says, listen, I know someone who knows all knowledge or he knows what's going to happen when they die and these things, which is mentioned in your books, Akhi. And the Quran in this verse and the other verse I already mentioned to you, in Surah Al-A'raf, where it says, I don't know the ghaib. The Prophet has been said, I don't, and if I knew the ghaib, think about this, Akhi. If I knew the future, I knew the ghaib, then I would have gotten all the good things 
and nothing bad would have touched me. Akhi, Al Hussein, did Al Hussein, if he knew what was going to happen to him, why would he commit suicide, Akhi? It's, it's ridiculous. If you knew that he was going to go so, somewhere, he's going to get killed. Look at what it says in the Quran. It says, If I knew the ghaib, I would have gone all the good things and no bad would have touched me. So Prophet Muhammad has been said that if I knew the ghaib, my strategy would have been that I don't have any bad touch me. No bad would have touched me because I don't want any bad. Because the Quran says, Don't do anything that causes harm to your own self. If uh, the Prophet Muhammad has been told in Surah Al-Araf, that if I knew the ghaib, I would not have done anything that would have caused harm to me. And now we're told to believe that there's an Imam called Al Hussein that comes and he knows the ghaib. And now he's going into harm's way, intentionally. So he's going against the Quran and he's going in, on two levels because he's not meant to know the ghaib and he's not meant to harm, harm himself if he knew the ghaib. So, Akhi, this is so clearly against the Quran. Wallahi, what you have to do, Akhi, right now, and we have to get you to do this, is you have to reject this principle because it is a principle that you've been socialized into that if you believe in the Quran, you must reject. So I'm saying to you now, can we get from you, Yusuf, a rejection of the fact that the Imma have all knowledge of the future and all knowledge like that? Can you reject that? Why do you not reject it? It's going against the Quran. But it says in the Quran opposite. It says what you believe. The Quran believes. The Quran is saying something opposite to what you believe. So what do you what do you accept? Do you believe what you believe because because uh, uh, Khomeini and Sistani and whatever told you to believe it, and your parents told you to believe it, or are you going to believe what Allah says? It's as simple as that.